Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. Today I'm going to show you an alternative to automating delays for vocals by using sidechaining. So many of you know the concept of sidechaining, but typically used on say like bass and drums and things like that. Now what I like to do, kind of a quick way to set up a delay in vocal, especially if I have a vocalist in the booth and they want a bit of delay on their voice. Um, I don't want the delay to constantly be there, but I also don't have the time to automate when I want the delays to come in and out. So a quick way of getting around this is by applying a compressor after my delay and setting up as a sidechain with the vocals feeding into the compressor. And this will allow me to duck the delay every time the vocals come in. And so it's really convenient, really easy to set up, and it adds a bit of feel too. And uh, no automation required. So first things first, this should be a no brainer for all of you, but some people tend to forget this. In order for your delay to be set up properly, you need two things. One, you need your DAW to be set up with the right tempo. So in this particular case, my tempo for this song is 61 beats per minute. And the other thing is once you've got the tempo set up in your DAW, you want to make sure that your audio is lined up to the grid properly so that all the beats fall on the grid lines. Otherwise, you're going to notice some weird things happening with your delays. So that's the first thing that's out of the way. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an auxiliary track for our delay. So in this particular instance, I created a mono auxiliary track because our delay is going to be mono. The next thing we're going to do is assign an input for our auxiliary track so we can bus the vocals to. So go to input and then I'm going to choose bus five. Then from there, we're going to assign which vocal we want to send to the delay. So I'm going to send my lead vocal to the delay through bus five. Bring up the volume. Next thing we're going to do is open up a delay plugin. So my delay of choice is Echo Boy. If you are not familiar with this delay plugin, I assure you that you are missing out. This is hands down my favorite delay plugin to use in the world. It is my go-to plugin. Next, we're gonna make sure our delay plugin is synced to the tempo of the song. So I've just activated it to sync and it's 61 BPM, that's what we want, perfect. The next thing we're going to do is set our delay time. So this will be based off of your preference for the song. In this particular case, I want it set to a quarter note delay. After that, I'm going to set the mix of my delay all the way to wet, meaning I don't want any of the dry signal coming in. The reason for this is because the whole point of this technique is for the delay to duck out whenever we don't need it to be prominent. And if more of the dry signal is in the delay, it's going to be harder to do that because it's going to become more noticeable. So I just want it completely wet. Now, the next thing we're going to do is adjust our feedback. Now, our feedback is how many times our delay is going to repeat. So. Typically, you'll want to hit play and then increase the feedback to your preference. So let's take a listen here. Your jealousy is too real, too real, too real. You're telling me I'm too real, too real, too real. Your jealousy is too real, too real. You're telling me I'm telling me I'm too real, too real. Your team been fading. Your team been the latest. Is the latest. My team been the greatest. My team been the greatest. Is the greatest. Your team been fed. Your team been fed. Your team been fed. Your team been fed. Your team been. All right, great. I like the feedback about there. So I just have it uh, like a quarter of the way there. Now, with this particular delay plugin, it has different algorithms for the sound of the delay, which is pretty unique to this plugin. I mean, I, f I think there's a few other plugins that do that, but uh, this is one of the reasons why I love this plugin. So for this kind of effect, I really like the splattered 
algorithm sound. It just sounds really cool. So I'm going to hit play and you're going to hear it. Your jealousy is too real, too real, too real. You're telling me I'm telling me I'm too real, too real, too real. As you can hear, it adds a bit of a fuzzy, kind of grainy, warmer sound to the delay, which I just love. So, And I usually like cranking the saturation on this just to exaggerate the effect. Now, I'm not too worried about exaggerating the effect because of the side chain that we're going to apply. It's going to help blend it in with the track better. So, And I like to roll off a bit of the high frequencies. And when I say a bit, I mean a whole lot. Your jealousy is too real, too real, too real. It's telling me, it's telling me, it's telling me, it's telling me, it's telling me. Oh yeah, warm, gritty, I love it. That's just a personal preference. Many of you will have your own preferences. Next, we're going to open our compressor. The important thing to do here is open up the compressor plugin after the delay. So here we are. I'm going to use... Uh, the McDSP Retro Compressor. Now, this is also a preference. I really like the sound of the compression with this particular plugin. So I typically use this compressor for this specific purpose. Now, with your compressor, you are going to activate the sidechain because you don't want the compressor compressing the signal based on the input from the delay. You want it to compress based on the vocals. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our key input. So this is how the side chaining is activated. What I'm going to do is use the same input of the auxiliary for the key input because it's essentially the signal from the lead vocals, which is what we want. So bus five it is. So now we've got our compressor set up as a side chain. Now, I use some pretty extreme settings for the compressor because I like to just basically squash the sound and duck it out as much as possible in regards to the lead vocals. And then what I do is I ease off from that. So I go to the extreme and then I tailor it a bit to sit better with the track. So I just basically bring the threshold all the way down. Uh, for this case, I'll leave the ratio to about 4 to 1. Sometimes I go to 10 to 1. It, it really depends. But I do still want some of that delay in there under the vocals. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm going to crank up the attack to slow. I'm going to speed up the release to about 200. That's like a good starting point for me. And then the release is actually really important for this particular purpose. The release is going to help you get the groove of the, um, I guess, uh, the sound of the delay. Because what's going to happen here is when the vocals come in, it's going to compress the delay signal and you're not going to hear it as much. But then when it, it releases, so the vocals stop and there's that gap in between, the release time is going to be important for when you hear the delay come in. And getting the right timing is going to either make or break the rhythm of the delay. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. So let's close this and I'm going to hit play and we're going to hear what's going to happen now. Your jealousy is jealousy. too real, too real, too real. You're telling me I'm too real, too real, too real. Your jealousy is too real. You're telling me I'm too real, too real, too real. Your team pin, your team pin, your team pin. So I also brought down the level of the delay just to sit in better with the vocals. So I'm going to now show you what happens when we have a different setting for the release. So I'm going to bring it really slow. So let's slow that down that release a lot and hear what happens. Your jealousy is too real, too real. You're telling me I'm too real, too real. Your jealousy, your jealousy, your jealousy. So what we just heard is that the compressor was taking too long to release its compression and by the time the next word came up, it didn't fully release 
the audio. So we didn't get that automated feel where the delay sound just comes right in perfectly right after the last word of the previous line. So because of the slow release time, you're getting a too much of a continuous compression and uh, the delayed signal just kind of gets lost. So this is why the release time is really important for this particular technique. Getting it right is going to um, really help get the delays to cut through in time in between the words. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to bring it back to uh, 200. All right, so now let's listen to the delay in context with the two vocals and the music. And let's hear how it sounds with no automation, just the sidechain facilitating that kind of delayed sound in between the lines. Your jealousy is too real, too real. You're telling me I'm too real, too real. Your jealousy is too real. You're telling me I'm too real, too real. Your team been fading, we is the latest. My team been the greatest, we is the greatest. Your team been fading, we is the latest. My team been the greatest, we is the greatest. Like I said, I do this a lot to get that effect up and running quickly, you know, especially when you have a client in the booth, they don't want to wait a whole long time for you to get that sorted out. So this is just a quick, easy, effective way of doing it. And sometimes I keep it because I like the sound of it. And in regards to these two plugins that I used, you can use any compressor or delay that you want, provided that the compressor you use offers side chaining capabilities. I just use these two plugins because they're a personal preference of mine. I like the sound of them, so that's it. But you can use any one. Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you everyone, have a great day.